Good morning. If you have any prayer requests today, please send them to prayer at parkhillchurch.org or you can also text them to me. That information is in your bulletin. You can find it there. Let's begin our time of prayer this morning with breathing because breathing not only fills our lungs with what we need, it also fills the world with what it needs. Let's breathe in peace and breathe out justice. Let us breathe in love and breathe out joy. Let us breathe in resiliency and breathe out healing. We begin our prayer time this morning with our joys. We have a joy for a successful Sunday School event last Sunday and for the ability to stay connected through Zoom, so important during this time. And um, finally, we have Valentine's continued recovery and success for all these joys. We say, God, hear our prayers. And then this week we have many, many prayer requests that are on our hearts. This morning we pray for the million families who have lost a family member to COVID. We pray for Meredith as she started a new job last week. We pray for Robin and Michelle's postman, Tony, who is in ICU on a ventilator. We pray for Robin's Aunt Anne, who is in her end of life transition. We pray for Michelle's godmother, Ruth. We pray for Pam's sister who has breast cancer and for everyone else who has been diagnosed. Mary Alice, Scott, Aunt Lois, Kim, and Monica. We pray for Susan and her wife, Sylvia, as they meet with immigration. And we pray for Tammy as she recovers from mouth surgery. We pray for Elizabeth as she takes care of herself, as she takes care of others. We pray for Merlin's cousin, Dewana in Atlanta, who suffered a stroke. We pray for our democracy and the upcoming elections. And we pray for all families and loved ones in need. We pray for Nancy's sister, Sue, recovering from neck surgery and the removal of a malignant tumor. And we pray for Lily's friend, Chris, whose son died from suicide. And we pray for Michelle's aunt, who is on hospice care, and for her mother and father, who are facing medical diagnosis. diagnoses. We pray for Patty's friend Penny on the loss of her wife and prayers for their dear friends also who lost their dog. And we pray for Abby, a former youth group member of Amy's who has been diagnosed with lymphoma. For these and all of our prayers, we say, God, hear our prayers. And now let us take a moment and let God listen to the prayers that remain in our hearts and are unspoken. Hear us now, O oh God, in our silence. Creator God, we gather today with an emphasis on neighbor, not just who lives next door or who is sitting beside us, but a much larger emphasis on everyone in the world. We are grateful for the diversity that you created and the richness and beauty it brings to our lives. Kindle us in us a love that cannot be fanned out, a love that endures time and arguments, a love that heals and searches the area across the aisle. We gather today marveling at what the world has to offer. Beauty, peace, serenity, energy, excitement, and chaos. Kindle in us a curiosity that allows us to know and see in ways previously undiscovered. 
And we gather today praying for all nations, all people, for peace and unity everywhere, for justice and mercy everywhere. Kindle in us a passion to work for a world that is open and inclusive, just and compassionate for everyone everywhere. Amen.